faktycznie trzeba nawigować na takim dużym, pustym placu. Nie ma miejsca. Debile. It's been a decade since Bugatti first gave us the Veyron, and oh, how times have changed. Back then, the thought of a car cracking 1,000 horsepower was enough to make your knees knock. A W16 engine with not one, not two, but four turbochargers? Get out of town. Well, it's about time for the Veyron to do exactly that, because I'm standing here beside the last one Bugatti will ever build. But before we get into any of that, let's take a look at what the Veyron used to be. Back when it was first introduced, it made 1,001 horsepower, but by about 2010, that number was starting to get a little bit stale, and Bugatti introduced the 100 horsepower. As production petered on towards the finish line, the company introduced a series of special edition models, including the Legends editions that you've been reading about for the past several years. And that brings us to number 450, the car sitting directly to my left here at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show. You know, even if it's not the most powerful car you can buy, and even if it is starting to seem pretty damn heavy, I, for one, am gonna miss it. <laughs> 